Hi everyone, I'm Crystal. I'm currently a senior in high school, but I'm already applying to colleges for next year. My college application is pretty much perfect. I'm the cheer captain of my cheerleading squad. I'm an Instagram influencer with over 100,000 followers. Oh yeah, and I'm the prettiest and most popular girl at school too. There's just one problem. I was failing biology class. It was ruining my almost perfect college application and ruining my life. I didn't take classes seriously by senior year, so I didn't show up to a lot of them. I thought my teachers would just give me a passing grade since it's my last year of school and make sure I don't ruin my chances of getting into college. I didn't think any teacher was going to be heartless, but turns out my biology teacher was. She told me I was going to fail her class if I didn't get an A on the final project. I grew desperate. I literally have no idea what's going on in that class. The good thing was that the final project was done in pairs. I just had to find some smart person in class I could mooch off of. Hmm, maybe this was going to be easy. I already had someone in mind. Jean was this nerdy girl in our class that I didn't even know existed until this year. She looked unremarkable. She had curly brown hair and freckles, didn't wear any makeup. Her figure wasn't too bad, but her face definitely needed some work. After I asked around a bit, it turns out Jean's been acing the class. She'd be the perfect partner for this project. I approached her after class one day and asked her if she wanted to be my partner for the final project. I mean, who wouldn't? But her answer was not what I was expecting. She looked at me with a blank stare and said, no thanks. Straight to my face. I was shook. I decided to ask her again. Look, I need your help. I am failing. And if I don't get a passing grade, I might not be able to get into college. If you help me with this project, then I'll do a favor for you. She looked at me for a second and said, fine. I'll help you, but in return, you have to help me go on a date with my crush. Deal. We shook hands and agreed to meet at my house the next day after school. The next day at school, I saw Jean in the hall and waved to her. But to my surprise, she just ignored me and ran off. Thought it was kind of weird, but didn't think much of it. Then I saw her right before biology class and said, hey, Jean. And she didn't even look up. She just turned in the opposite direction and walked off. Was I crazy or something? Why would she want to ignore me? Like she was embarrassed to be seen with me? I am the most popular girl in our school? It was really puzzling, and I decided to ask her about it later. After school, Jean came over to my house. Before I was able to ask her anything, Jean spoke up and said, Okay, so I have a few rules. I listened intently. This girl was kind of weird. She said, rule number one, I cannot tell you who my crush is, but I will tell you things about them. I was confused. How was I supposed to help her with her crush if she wouldn't tell me anything about him? Rule two, when you see me at school, pretend like we don't know each other. And lastly, rule number three, I'll do all the work for the project. It's better that you don't get involved. Was she serious right now? I thought it was really strange, but I didn't complain. After all, she offered to do all the work. We met up every day after school. I would help her pick out nice outfits, teach her how to put on makeup, and how to take cute selfies while she worked on our biology project. By the end of the first week, Jean actually looked like a different person. She actually looked, well, kind of pretty. I gave myself a mental pat on the back. I did a great job transforming her. In another universe, maybe something might have even happened. Too bad she probably wasn't even into girls like I was. But I bet her crush would fall head over heels for her new look. Over the next few weeks, we continued with our arrangement. I ignored her in the hallways and she would drop hints about her crush. She described them as very attractive, generous, outgoing but I still had no idea who it was. Surprisingly, though, the more we hung out, the more my feelings changed about her. 
she was really smart and actually confident and had a wicked sense of humor. Most of the time, though, she was very serious, especially when it came to school. I got by with my looks and popularity, but I really respect Jean for giving it her all with her studies. Even though the project was close to being completed, I felt like I didn't make any progress in Jean's love life. I decided I would just ask her who her crush was. When she came over that night, and before we got started, I blurted out, Who is your crush? She looked at me with a bit of shock, and then she turned red with embarrassment. I explained why I needed to know. Look, I know the rule said not to ask. But it's very hard for me to help you if I don't actually know who it is. And I really want to help you, because I want what's best for you. After all, you're kind of my friend now, even if you don't want to be. This didn't help. She turned even more red and embarrassed. She quickly excused herself and ran off to the bathroom. I waited in my room, and after what seemed like forever... She came back into the room and sat down. I asked if she was okay, and then she said, Crystal, I have to tell you something. What she told me next gave me butterflies. Jean took a deep breath and said, Crystal, I've been lying to you. I was suddenly confused. The truth is, I have a crush, and it's actually you. Oh, great. Now I was turning red. Sorry I couldn't tell you sooner, you see. I never actually came out to anyone. Until now. I was trying to hide these feelings for a long time. When you asked me to be your partner, I was really happy. But I made up those rules because I didn't want to get too close to you. Or have people at school get the wrong idea. I'm sorry about all of this. I really didn't want to scare you away. I smiled gently at her and told her I was really glad and proud of her that she was able to build up the courage to tell me. I know it can be really tough sometimes, especially if you're confused about how you're feeling. I understood why she came up with those weird rules. And the truth is, I grew some feelings for her along the way. I held her hand and said, it's okay. I'm really glad we got the opportunity to hang out. And me failing biology turned out to be a blessing in disguise because now I get to have you. I walked her home and we were laughing and smiling the whole way back. The next day at school when I saw Jean, to my surprise, she ran up to me and gave me a big hug. And then she asked if I wanted to go on a date with her sometime in front of the whole class. I was so surprised. But of course I said yes. Oh yeah. If you're wondering, of course Jean got us an A on our project, and I am so glad I asked her to be my partner that day.